Well, now to the latest in the presidential election. Vice President Kamala Harris selected Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate this morning. The Midwestern Democrat has recently ascended from being relatively unknown on the national stage to a leader of the party. Here's CNN's Whitney Wilde with a look at his background. I give you our Burley High School teacher from Mankato. In Minnesota, the national spotlight is shining on humble roots as Governor Tim Waltz becomes Kamala Harris's vice presidential running mate. Before running for office, Waltz was a geography teacher in public schools and a football coach from rural Mankato. High school geography teachers don't usually think that. Look, it, it, is, uh, it is humbling. It's a privilege. It's surreal. His resume also includes more than two decades in the Army National Guard, including a deployment overseas after the 9-11 attacks. Want to thank the gentleman. He's the two-term governor previously served in Congress for 12 years, representing a rural district that voted for Trump twice. In 2006, he won his first congressional race, ousting a six-term Republican incumbent. They liked me. They trusted me. They said, Tim, I think you're trying to do it right. His first term as governor saw some of the state's most turbulent times when riots broke out after the murder of George Floyd, prompting Waltz to call in the National Guard. Let's be very clear. The situation in Minneapolis is no longer in any way about the murder of George Floyd. It is about attacking civil society, instilling fear, and disrupting our great cities. His record of progressive policies, such as codifying abortion rights, adding protections for transgender people, passing paid sick and family leave, and implementing free breakfast and lunch programs in schools, makes him appealing to some on the left. And a target for Republican criticism, which he has begun to push back on. What a monster. Kids are eating, eating and having full bellies so they can go learn, and women are making their own health care decisions. <laughs> this year, Harris visited a Minnesota abortion clinic with Walls. The visit marking a big impact on her decision, a source close to the governor told CNN. You've been a great friend and advisor to the president and me, and thank you for all of that. Walls joins the ticket, having already made his mark on the race, coining a new line of attack against GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump and his Republican allies with a single word, weird. We're not afraid of weird people. No. <laughs> weird. We're a little bit creeped out, but we're not afraid. 